Nero seemed intent on creating scandal. Many sophisticated Romans were captivated by Greek culture and art. For Nero, though, this was an obsession. With what Tacitus described as his passion for the incredible, and with no disapproving mother around to hold him in check, Nero now decided that he would join the ranks of celebrated Greek poets and musicians by appearing on stage. For Roman aristocrats, this was completely taboo. You have to remember that this was a society where any kind of a performer, uh, an actor, a singer, or a dancer, were considered to be the same social rank as prostitutes, basically untouchable lowlifes. Hear ye, O lords of the underworld. The to the horror of the senators, Nero now planned to perform in public at Rome's biggest theatrical festival. Exalted ruler of the heavens. Did you make him our offer, first prize? Yes, but he refused. Exalted ruler. He says he wants to win fairly tomorrow. From every corner of the sky, let the loud thunders roll. Hurl thy fires. For Rome senators, this was like a prime minister or a president going on a TV reality show, only worse. He seeks their applause and adoration. And he thinks this is how. Send thy three-forked flaming bolt! It was embarrassing, it was humiliating, and it was politically destabilizing. Because if Rome's emperor looked a fool, then Rome's empire looked foolish for putting up with him. Let night stay on forever. He will destroy us all. From every corner we must stop him. And cover with endless darkness, boundless crimes. I fear it is too late for that. But it wasn't just the stage appearances. There were wild tales of sexual deviance, orgies with elaborate role play involving men, women, children, even animals. This was the crucial point. The emperor's moral corruption could be used as proof that he was unfit to rule. <laughs> 